Hey, Gao is here. What are you saying, brother? Chilling. Uh, look, everyone who's expecting us to have a shouting match, it's not that. We've had a conversation last time. We've spoke about it. And let me just make it clear. I don't feel like anything I said in the situation when it comes to football was wrong. Going overboard and when it got personal, that's when that's when football debate ended. But if you go back to the uh, debate, you can clearly see that my stance was, I'll give it time until I see that it's untenable with Arteta. And you said to me, if... If and when you are a tata out, I'm going to cook you. And I get that. I completely get that. I completely get that. But at the end of the day, I am not going to be, I'm not going to be one of those people that what Terry was talking about that are going to be like, oh, I'm not, I'm going to stick to my agenda just because I got into an argument with Lee over it. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, to me, it's about what's best for the well, club. You could have quite easily hidden for the last couple of weeks. I can't lie. Yeah. You never hide. Yeah. I'm always here. Exactly. I saw, I see the show yesterday as well, man. Same went mad. Yeah, <laughs> I'm you know still what? waiting for the apology, by the way. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> we had this conversation, man. I don't feel like I owe anybody an apology because listen, at the end of the day, that the particular night, what wound me up was that I was doing my watch along. And I said this on the space the other night. Yeah, for everyone who didn't hear the space, I'll say it one more time, right? I was doing my watch along. Terry used to always send me the link, yeah. Even though he knew I weren't coming on because I was doing player ratings, he'd always send me the link, yeah? So I'd go on Chick's channel and do the link. Um, so I'd do the player ratings. So I can't remember whether I text you or whatever, but then Chick's whole comment section was getting filled up with, oh, there's these people slagging you off and rah, rah, rah. But this was going on for like an hour. I was like, oh, my God. So like, I was like, Terry, send me the link. Yeah, or, um, or I'm jumping in or whatever, yeah? So the first thing I said was like, like we've, I think we're just beating Dundalk. It was like, why is everyone concerned what I'm saying? And that's the one thing that I've, I've always said. It's like, why does anyone care what I've got to say? Like, to me, like, I do YouTube full time, right? But I'm still baffed as to why people listen to me. Yeah, it's like, I'm literally pinching myself every day. Like, why do so many people care what I've got to say? Like, like good or bad? Yeah. Like, it, it just, yeah it, let I'm, me ask you this I'm, though. Kind of, let me ask you this, though. Do you feel like there's anything wrong with people who wanted to back the manager, especially after winning the FA Cup and the way we were playing football up until that FA Cup win? Don't I can't lie. It was it was we played well with the back three. We got found out coming into the new season and near the end of the season. I still had hope that we could win the Europa League. Once we didn't win the Europa League, I feel like a lot of people turned. And that's when Arteta out was like the main thing and throughout the summer we knew he wasn't going to get sacked so i was willing to give him the first couple of games and after the first couple of games i just feel like he has not adapted he has not changed nothing's changed we haven't gotten better at all and i don't see how we're going to get better now that the transfer window's shut and we haven't improved the squad to a level where 27 over. months mate until it took four years that Klopp took come on back the process <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know what i would say though boy what ends up happening and i know this because i did this in my early years and people still accuse me of it now and they don't talk. No one speaks privately. Everybody just puts everything out there publicly and it becomes a cesspit in many ways. Lee's got his opinions and Lee knows because we speak privately. I don't agree. I haven't agreed with all of his opinions at times. I remember reading him saying, why don't you just give the guy a chance? So no, I don't you think he's right. Me, oh, you was out of order saying this or like you shouldn't. Have yeah, I'll challenge these things. But the point is, is, is that, that but I don't judge Lee's personality in person and him as a man based on his football opinion. And that happens too often on social. Someone will say, to, uh, when I was new to this, it'd be like, Terry, I think you're talking absolute bullshit about blah, 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 blah. I used to think, why you, like, talk about me and get angry. It's like, they're not having a go at me as a the person. They're talking about my, my opinion on that specific thing. But the, the thing that winds me up so Terry, I think, Terry, I think right? you two, I think you two, like you both started going personal with each other and it ended up going away from the actual subject matter. And it was like, yeah. It was actually you, a really good football debate, and then it became personal. Do you know what it was? For me, it was like, I went into everything blind, yeah, because I'm on a watch-along. We've just beaten Dundalk. Yeah, I think um, Balogun had scored his first goal that night. Yeah, and it was like, you know, I'm just sitting there. I'd flown back to England, yeah, to do a week in, in Wolves with my bird. We were in a hotel, yeah. like, And funny enough, the hotel we was in, yeah, Chelsea uh, played Wolves the following week, and we are in the same hotel. Yeah, it was like, it was mad. Right, but I flown back there and I was like, my missus is sat there waiting for me to finish a watch along and player rating, so then we can chill. Yeah. Chill. And then all of a sudden it's like boom, 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 comment, 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 comment. And I know the comment section wind things up all the time. Yeah, they do it all the time. Oh, he said this about you. Go and check his and you go and check it. You're like, he never said nothing, mate. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it was just like everyone was doing it. So it's like I've then come into it and I'm like, 
I popped up and there's like four or five people there. And I'm just like, right, that's it. Yeah. Sleeves up. Let's go. Yeah. And it is what it is. At the end of the day, yeah, I, I, I will never, ever stop holding this football club accountable. Yeah. Until they do what they smashed that stadium down for. And they told me in 2002 they were moving to that ground for. Peter Hillwood is dead now, bless him. Yeah. But he stood there and he addressed the nation and said, we've got Barclays funding. Yeah. And secured the bank loan to build Ashburton Grove. That was 19 years ago. Yeah. And then off of the back of that, we're going to compete with the best teams in the world. We're going to compete. Then can see this when and done it. I am going to hold them accountable. And if people think that's negative, sorry, I'm a winner. I've grown up on five league titles at this club, man. I've seen this win five titles. Let me ask you this though quickly. Um, do you feel like there's a problem with fans who gave, uh, who were giving Arteta time and maybe even still giving him time knowing that he's in the job? Because I know a lot of people who still are saying, you know what, as long as he's in the job, they're going to back him. I'm no longer in that boat. I'm, I'm just saying he's, it's no longer tenable to keep him. But even myself, did you, do you still feel like I was wrong to do that? Because I feel like I did nothing wrong. I as think, no, 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 no. I, I get that. And I understand that, like, m for me personally, right, I've seen that, like, and I'll come to that in one second, yeah? Aaron Ramsdale, we bid £20 million for him, rejected. Nobody on social media was wanting Aaron Ramsdale. Soon as we then get a £24 million bid accepted, all of a sudden, Ornstein's out there, everyone's out there. Oh, look at David Seaman's journey to Arsenal. Oh, where was Edison and Allison? And it was like, now he's getting the shirt on, we're backing him. Okay, well, if, if Ryan Shawcross is on a free transfer... Yeah, and he puts the shirt on and we sign him. Is everyone backing him? No. So let's just put that in the bin. If Deli Ali signs for Arsenal, are we all backing him? No. So for me, I, it's, it's admirable that people will back the manager or the, the players. But what I just found so funny with the whole thing was the way everyone just got sucked into trust the process. Because the process is run by an owner that literally nobody likes. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like, why are you trusting this? Because you're basically trusting the owner. Yeah. Because you have to have a level of hope because as a fan, you want your team to do well. You want your team to succeed. You want you want to see something at the end of the tunnel as yeah. a fan. And if you can see that it's wrong, I get it. But if other people don't see it in, in, in the same way you do, well, and you see things differently, you have, that's their opinion. I think it is your opinion. I have to, have to, have to come to the end of the show now just due to personal things. <laughs> but I would say this. I don't think there's an issue with either camp. It's how you treat and talk about one another. Yeah. Like I, I make comments where I say things like, I think people that abuse Marcus Rashford, I don't feel like they're real Man United fans. And I, But I stand by that. But what I'm not doing is going after one individual and saying, Joe Bloggs is a scumbag. A, I'll give you an example. That the other. And that's what I think. I'm not saying you did that, Gal. I'm giving you an example. No, no, I'll here. give an example. There's, there's a rat on to my screen for rather a reason, than the opinions. Mate. Yeah. If you don't back Arteta, you're a rat. Yeah. Yeah. And anyone who, and I remember putting a tweet out there the day he officially signed as Arsenal manager. And I'm gutted because I deleted it by mistake. I wanted to delete the one above it. Yeah. And I deleted that because that had about a thousand comments on it. Yeah, and I was going to retweet it and just reply to all of them now. Yeah, because the abuse I got on that particular tweet, and this is where I'm at, yeah, and where I was at. Yeah, I didn't want him. I put the tweet out saying, I can't back sign because I don't believe in. Yeah, and everyone just went, oh, you're a fake fan. Go down the lane, which I find hilarious. But go down the lane because I want to win titles. Like, you lot are backing a guy who's never managed. Why don't you go down the lane? Because they don't win nothing. Like, and it's like, now I just look at it and I think like, it's the same with players. You have to back the player because he signs for us. No, I don't back mediocrity. I want to win. But the problem is I don't actively sit there and individually target people. Yeah. For doing that. Now I do because I'm sick and tired of people taking the mick and, and calling me out and having a pop and like siege mentality, piling it on, on social media, trolling every day. So now I actively call people out. But when, it, when he first got the job, it was, I ain't backing him. I'm not having him. Yeah, I don't care what he does. It will never be any good and it will ruin the club. And it was, it's kind of funny because now seeing all of the people that abused me, now I'm, uh, that had unfollowed me, blocked me, loads have slid in the DMs, yeah, that I haven't spoken to for years. Loads are following me. They're suddenly popping back up in the chat. Yeah, I was done with you lot when you, when you all jogged on. Because at the end of the day, none of you come to me and say, Joel, and, and even one of my mates, Ryan, big up to Ryan, yeah? He was a staunch Wenger out, yeah? 
every time we won a football match under Arteta, yeah, including when we beat Tottenham last season. Oh, you trust in the process yet, Gunner? Yeah, so after the three games this season, I was like, are you still trust in the process, Ryan? You know, it's like, yeah, but who else can we get? Do you back the, do you trust the board? And this is a funny one. I know you want to wrap up, Terry, yeah? Do you trust this board to go and do what's required to get a proper manager? Well, you've been trusting it for 20 months, mate, under a process. <laughs> yeah? So come on, you can't have your, your cake and eat it. Like, you know. and, and, I, and, I, and I agree with that because as, as people often say to me, if one has my thoughts on Oli, even it, like, but my, my target's always the Glazers, good, bad, or indifferent. I'm like, yeah, I still don't trust those pagans, and you need to be consistent. But, gents, listen, it's good seeing you boys chat uh, with some Come civility on. and respect, and, and everything else is good. It's all being cleared, all being aired, and done like that. Everyone who's tuned in, an hour and 42 minutes uh, for the first show is mad. It will definitely be shorter next week, no doubt. Uh, viewers, make sure that like button has been smashed, make sure you're subscribed. Um, thank you to all the super chats, all the new subscribers today. Lee's got some poor over 120 new subscribers to the football territory during this stream. I'm going live in 37 minutes as well. So go check out Lee Gunner's stream. The link for his ch uh, channel is in the, the title of this. Just click on it, go and subscribe over there. But until next time, take care. Goodbye. God bless. Right. And we'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye bye.